Hey guys, how's it going? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to use Ubuntu recovery mode. So as you can see, I have Ubuntu Linux and a virtual machine. Kind of the only real way I can record the uh, recovery mode because it's part of the grub bootloader type thing and it's not easy to record in a existing machine that isn't virtualized. So to start off, when you start up Ubuntu, you might see an Ubuntu loading logo. Smack the uh, escape button and you'll see the grub loader. After that, go to advanced options and highlight the one that says recovery mode. So from there, you have a bunch of different options uh, as soon as that loads up. So you can select resume, which will resume normal boot. You can clean free space. You can run the dpackage command here, which will fix broken packages. You can check your file systems. You can update the grub bootloader. You can uh, connect to the internet if you need to use some internet related stuff through dpackage and all that. You can also get the command line. So let's do the clean and clean will clean our file system. It's gonna go through and clean up stuff press enter. You can also do dpackage, which can fix broken files and packages that might be there that need to be repaired. This virtual machine is clean, so I don't think there are any problems that I have, but I could be wrong. Okay. So those failed because I didn't connect to the internet. Um, but I don't really need to do that. That's just an update. Dpackage usually is for if broken packages show up. One thing that is really useful is the FSCK one here. Now this one will let you This one will let you clear out the file systems if you need to do that one. Of course, if you select it, it'll say this option you selected requires your file system to be in read-only mode. Unfortunately, another option you selected earlier made you exit this mode. This is e the easiest way of getting back in read-only mode is to reboot your system. So we can click the reboot option here, click reset. And uh, recovery mode, like I said, when you start it up, got to hit the escape button, advanced options, recovery. Now the reason you got to hit escape is because sometimes the Plymouth bootloader hides the grub options for Ubuntu. Not really sure why they do that, but uh, I guess they do it for prettiness. You know, maybe they don't want people staring at the uh, boot menu. Anyways, to clear out your file system and FSCK basically, it'll scan your hard drive. So if you got any dirty bits or blocks that's preventing your system from booting, you can always select the FSCK button, click yes, and it will clear out everything and as we can see up here uh, FSCK from util Linux slash dev slash SDA1 cleaned our files and did everything it needed to do and now it's just waiting so after FSCK we have the grub update so if you're having issues with the grub bootloader you can select this option and uh, it will check and take a look at everything you have on your machine and update the entries and then of course we have the root and this one arguably is the most important for you to know as an Ubuntu user if you need to do recovery because if you mess up a file say you're adding a, a an external hard drive to the fs tab file and it refuses to boot you can always just choose this mode here and then press ctrl d uh, i think i pressed the wrong one ctrl ctrl d and you can gain root access anyways guys uh that is how you use recovery mode on Ubuntu. I hope you guys like this video. It's definitely helpful if you are new to Ubuntu. Uh, I will see you in the next video. <laughs>